There's perhaps no other country in this world that is as mesmerizing as India. While modern India is showcasing her prowess in every field from arms and weapons to information technology, from economic growth to incredible diversity, her ancient past has something more incredible. From Vedas to epics like Mahabharata and Ramayana, from more inspiring temples to jaw-dropping scientific discoveries, ancient India was full of surprises. The whole world owes to India whether they accept it or not. The way in which ancient civilizations built some of the most incredible monuments we see today, remains one of the greatest archaeological mysteries of the 21st century. It is not only a mystery how it was possible to create such structures, but how they managed to extract, transport and place giant rocks together with great precision, it is something that even today's engineers cannot imagine. One of those architectural monuments is the Kailasa Temple, which is located in Ellora, Maharashtra, in India. Dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva, the entire temple was built using a technique that has not been seen anywhere else in the world. Unlike other ancient megalithic structures that were built joining rocks of different sizes, this temple itself was built from a single rock. It is 60 feet high, 66 feet wide and 100 feet deep, and is only one of 34 monasteries and temples that extend over an area of one mile. The temple is also perfectly aligned with the cardinal points with the entrance aligned with the west. Scholars believe that the temple was carved around 300 BC, but ancient astronaut theorists suggest it could be much older. Some historians estimate that the construction of the temple required the removal of more than 400,000 tons of rock, but even more incredible is that the mainstream archaeologists propose that this feat was done in just 18 years, using simple tools such as chisels and hammers. If people worked every day during those 18 years, for 12 consecutive hours without interruptions, they would have had to remove 5 tons of rock every hour. Actually, such a feat is not even possible today with modern technology. If it happened in 18 years, it is very difficult to realize another surprising fact. And if 400,000 tons of rocks are removed, they have to be disposed of somewhere. But no evidence has been found of stacked rocks near the site, or that have been used to build other temples or any other structure. So where did all that large amount of rocks go? Could the humans who lived more than 1,000 years ago have actually built the Kailasa temple in just 18 years? And if so, how is it that all the excavated rock simply disappeared? Perhaps more clues can be found by examining a powerful device described in ancient Vedic texts. Ancient Vedic texts mention a device called Bormastra, which was a high-tech machine that could quickly drill the rock, and vaporize them. This could basically turn the rock into air. Could this be how the Kailasa temple was built? Is it possible that the Bormastra machine described in the Vedic texts was really a technological device that existed on Earth thousands of years ago? This makes the theorists of the ancient astronauts think that this, and the other similar structures in the area, were not made by human primitives, since ideally they should have taken centuries to build, given the lack of technological capacity at the time. But it was made by more advanced beings, which the locals considered them as gods, using exotic technology to be able to carve such a one-piece structure. Was the Kalasa temple made entirely by human beings with rapidity and perfection only using chisels and hammers, as conventional science asserts, or in its construction was the intervention of a machine hitherto not known to mankind, probably from another world. 